colonies are like high-security bank vaults. To get in, you need the right access codes. Usually, those come in the form of chemical cues, which let the resident ants know you belong. But one parasitic beetle has cracked a secret cipher to gain entry to the nest. It's learned how to speak the ant's language. And that language sounds a little something like this. I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. As you might remember from movies like Ant-Man, ants usually communicate using chemical signals, like pheromones. But while that's a powerful way to convey important information, it's not the only way ants talk. Many ants chirp to each other by rubbing two hard parts of their abdomens together. Different species can use these scraping sounds for things like getting organized, communicating with mates, and calling for help. In fact, the Mediterranean ant species, Fedole polygula, has three kinds of calls. Workers, soldiers, and queens each make their own distinct sounds. Now, Fedole polygula has a nemesis named Possus favieri. It's a beetle that can only live inside the ant's nest. To get inside, the beetles use chemicals on the outsides of their bodies to blend in with the ants. But for an all-access pass to the entire nest, scientists think they also mimic the ants' sounds. The beetles also scrape their abdomens to make chirps that match the calls of ant workers, soldiers, or queens. Here's an example. Now, that call might sound pretty different to us than the ant calls do, but it's close enough to fool the ants. And that works out really well for the beetles. You see, ants normally attack any intruder in their nest, but these beetles have almost free range, even interacting with the queen herself. And the ants don't just ignore the beetles, they'll actually lick them in a way that resembles their own grooming behavior. Tragically, the ants still don't object when the beetles start eating them. Sometimes the beetles prey on adult ants, but they especially like the younger ones. A beetle uses its straw-like jaws to pierce the abdomen of the ant larva, Yum. and then carries the larva around like a Slurpee, drinking its blood and soft tissues. This beetle in ants' clothing is just one example of what's called aggressive mimicry in nature, where a predator or parasite resembles a more harmless organism to avoid detection from prey. It's actually a pretty ingenious solution. Ant slurpee, anyone? Ew. Got a question about ant communication? Let me know in the comments. And for more gross science, hit subscribe.